Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College again. Today, we're going to do an introduction to division. And of course, we cannot have a class without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Charlie, wake up over there. What are you doing? You're on vacation or something? Take out a piece of paper and a pencil, and let's get ready to go. Today, we're doing an introduction to division. That's right. Now, remember, Charlie, you're in college now. This is the big time. We don't send students to detention. We send students over to admissions so that you can register for the class what? next semester. Oh. Uh-huh. You awake now? I thought so. Okay, let's get going right here. Now, pay attention, Charlie. There are different ways of indicating division. Okay, sometimes we use this notation here. Now, this is the quotient of 12 and 4. Quotient is the word that indicates division. Okay? Sometimes we use this bar here. Now this little bar kind of says you have a fraction. It's 12 divided by 4. A division symbol itself, right, division symbol with a bar and the two dots, you can think of it as a fraction where you have a numerator and a denominator and this little bar right here, right? So it's like a fraction. We'll get to fractions very soon. Or we can represent it this way. As a fraction, this is 12 over 4. 12 is a numerator, 4 is a denominator. We'll get to that later. And we can do this long division method. Okay? The 12 and the 4, they're called uh, dividends and divisors of... Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure right now. I'll come back to that later. Mind your own business, Charlie. Well, okay, we'll get back to that in a second here. Now, all these expressions are telling you to divide 12 by 4. So, well, what does that actually mean? What does division actually mean? Well, we're going to talk about division and we're going to look at it on a number line. Okay? Now, you'll see today why it was so important to learn how to do arithmetic. In other words, how to add and subtract. Because if you can add and subtract, then you can do the multiplication. And if you could do multiplication, then you can do division. You'll see that today. All right, so here we go, Charlie. This is our first problem right here, 12 divided by 4. Well, let's go back to the number line. I like the number line. Nobody asked you, Charlie. What? Anyway, this question, 12 divided by 4, is basically asking you how many 4s go into a 12? That's 12 divided by 4. How many 4s go into a 12? Well, let's look at it from that standpoint. Right. Here's one four, two fours, and three fours. What's four times three, Charlie? Twelve. Twelve. That's how we did our multiplication. Now, I want you to realize, how many fours does it take to make up a twelve, Charlie? Three. That's right, three of them. So, twelve divided by four is three. That's really because four times three is twelve. Right? Four times three is twelve. Think about that. We're going to come back to that in a second. Now, I know you're probably out there thinking, hey, what about 12 divided by 3? Well, let's do that one right now. 12 divided by 3. How many 3's go into a 12? Well, here's one 3, here's another 3, here's another 3, and one more 3's. Okay, Charlie, how many 3's does it take to make up a 12? Four. Four of them. So 12 broken up into 3's, how many 3's are there? Four. There's four of them, so 12 divided by 3 is 4. Anyway, well, what's 3 times 4, Charlie? 12. 12, that's right. And so, remember that. We're going to come back to that in a little bit. All right. Well, let's do this one. 13 divided by 4. Now, don't get scared. Just use the force. You'll see. We're going to kung fu this one. Watch. All right, Charlie. Here we go. 13 divided by 4. How many 4s go into a 13? Well, there's one 4. There's another 4. And there's a third 4. Now that's 12, right? Now, we're trying to get to that 13, Charlie, so how much is left over? 1. That's right, it's 1 unit. And what you should be realizing here, 13 divided by 4 is 3, right? 3 4's. But we have remaining what, Charlie? 1. 1 unit. And so in pre-algebra, we write that as like that, 3 with the remainder of 1, because you can see there's one unit remaining. Kung Fu. Anyway, let's look at another one here, Charlie. 15 divided by 4. 
How many fours go into a 15? Because that's what, really what you're asked with this problem. Let's take one four, two fours, three fours. Now, we can't go another four because that would take us to 16. That's too much. We're only given 15 because it's 15 divided by four. So, we're at 12, Charlie. It took us three fours to get to the 12. How many units are remaining, Charlie? Three. There's three. Now, how'd you figure that out? 15 subtract 12? 15 subtract 12. There's three. Or you just counted, right? It's right there. All right, so what's our answer, Charlie? Three with a remainder of what? Three of three units. Very nice there. Well, let's take the long division approach. All right? Long division. The 15 is our dividend. And the four out there is the, called the divisor. There you go. Okay. Now, Charlie, when you do a long division, four goes into 15 how many times? Three. Three of them, that's right. You can see it right there on the number line. Okay, and the way you do this is three times four is what? Twelve. Twelve. It's right there for you. And then what are you supposed to do, Charlie? Subtract. You subtract. And that's how you figured it out, right? Fifteen subtract twelve is what? Three. three. There you go. There's your three with a remainder of three. Kung Fu. Anyway, let's go on to another one here. Fifteen divided by seven. Now, how many sevens go into a 15? Well, let's go to one seven here, okay? And let's go to another seven. Now that takes us to 14. We can't go to another one because that'll take us to 21, right? Seven times two is 14. Now, we're trying to get to the 15, Charlie. How many units are left over? One. One unit, very nice there. And so our answer is two with a remainder of one. That's right, because two sevens give us 14, right? So seven goes into 15. Two times with one unit remaining. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, how about 20 divided by 7? Well, 1 7, 2 7s seven is 14. 7 times 2 is 14. How many units are left over, Charlie? 6. 6, that's right. 20 subtract 14 is 6. And so our answer is 2, right? How many times is 7 going to 20? Well, two of them, two times with a remainder of six units. Very nice. And if we do the long division, right? 20 is our dividend, seven is our divisor. Seven goes to 20, how many times, Charlie? Two. Two times, and two times seven is? 14. 14. It's right there. And then what do you do, Charlie? Subtract. subtract to get your remaining units, and 20 subtract 14? Six. Six, so your answer is two with the remainder of six. Kung Fu. Anyway, let's go on to another one here. Now, let's talk about multiplication and its relationship to division. Watch. I showed it to you on a number line. Now we're going to visualize it using the concept that multiplication is really addition. You remember this, Charlie? Four times eight. I don't want the answer. I want to know what does it mean. What does it mean, Charlie? Four times eight. I think what he's trying to say is there's eight fours being added together, because that's what four times eight means. Okay, and that is 32, that's right, same as eight times four, but four times eight is 32. Now watch this. You're out there and somebody asks you, hey, what's 32 divided by four? And that happens all the time, by the way. Well, they're basically asking you, how many fours go into a 32? It's right there. How many fours go into a 32, Charlie? Eight of them. Eight of them, that's right. Because four times eight is what, Charlie? 32. 32. Kung Fu. Anyway, let's go on to another one here. Eight times seven. Okay, Charlie. Can you do eight times seven? That's a tough one there, by the way. But we're gonna Kung Fu eight times seven, watch. Remember, we did this all back in the multiplication video. Eight times seven, what does it mean? It means that you have seven of these eights being added together. There's seven of them. Now, five of the eights. What's eight times five, Charlie? Forty. Forty. That's right. And eight times five is forty, and two more eights is sixteen, and forty and sixteen is fifty-six. That's some kung fu math right there. Okay, now, fifty-six divided by eight. How many eights go into fifty-six? It's right there. 